In this video, we are going to learn how to solve this giant physics exam with the equations under magnetic field. So we have 14 repeated equations to practice with in this video. So let's get started. The first question I have here says carbon particles are used in carbon microphones be because option A, their resistance changes with pressure, their resistance changes with temperature, they amplify the sound, they are good conductors. So guys, the right option to this question will be option A, which is the resistance changes with pressure. Next video question will be this one. It says if a charged ion goes through combined electric and magnetic fields, the resultant imagined velocity of ion is so take note of this particular question. The right expression here will be option C, which is E over B. Alright, so that's the right expression for the resultant imagined velocity of ion. Okay, so option C is the right one. The next particular question will be this one. It says, which of the following correctly explains why soft iron is preferred to steel in electromagnet? So we have the first one here. Soft iron is more readily magnetized than steel. This is correct. Soft iron is more readily demagnetized than steel. Also correct. Soft iron retains magnetism more than steel so this one is not correct the right option from our judgment of the list they gave us the right option here would be option c which is i and i i only okay the next of the question will be this one it says which of the following statements is not true about magnetic fuel lines option a magnetic fuel lines are strongest at the pole at the poles of a magnet, magnetic field lines are always closed loops. Magnetic field lines originate from the north pole of a magnet and end at the south pole. Magnetic field lines can intersect each other. So guys, the right option to this question will be option D. Magnetic field lines can intersect each other. This is not a this is not true about magnetic field line. Okay, so this option is not true about magnetic field lines, so it's not a true statement. Next we'll take a question with this one. It says a magnetic shield is placed in a uniform magnetic field. Which of the following statements correctly describes the effect of the shield on the magnetic field? We have option A. The magnetic field is unaffected by the shield. The magnetic field is weakened in the region of the field. The magnetic field is completely neutralized. The magnetic field is strengthened in the region of the of the shield. So, guys, the right option this question will be option B, which is the magnetic field is weakened in the region of the shield. Very, very important. Next of the question will be this one. It says the mass piece of a telephone primarily converts and turn energy into what? So this is a simple question. So it will be electrical. Right option will be option D. It converts sound energy into electrical energy. Very important. So next up the question with this one. It says in the diagram beside this diagram, the neutral point is at so just take note of this question. The neutral point here will be at this X we have in the diagram. So option C is the right one. Next up question with this one. So guys, before we attend this question, if you are new to our channel, ensure that you are subscribed to this channel for more of our videos. We really appreciate this guys. So the question says, which combination of the above makes iron preferable to steel in the making of electromagnets? We have the first list there to be, it retains its magnetism much longer than steel. No, that's not correct. Okay. We have the second one here to be it is more easily magnetized than steel so that's correct i i i it is more easily demagnetized than steel also correct iv it produces a stronger magnet magnet than steel not that not correct so the combination in the list we have here that makes iron preferable to steel in the making of electromagnets are uh, this i i and i i i so the right option to this question will be 
option C, which is I, I, and I, I, I only. Okay, so that's it for this question. The next particular question will be this one. It says, a magnetic field is said to exist at a point if a force is, option A, exerted on a moving charge at the point, deflected at the point, strengthened at the point, exerted on a stationary charge at the point. So the right option, this question will be option A, which is exerted on a moving charge at the point. Very important. So that's the right option to the question. The next particular question will be this one. It says the mouthpiece of a telephone primarily converts hand energy into I've already answered this question. So the right option is option D electrical. The next particular question will be this one. It says the magnetic force on a charged particle moving with velocity V is option A proportional to the velocity V only independent of the magnet magnitude of the charge. Proportional to the magnitude of the charge only proportional to both the magnitude of the charge and the velocity v so the right option is option d which is proportional to both the magnitude of the charge and the velocity v all right option d is the right option the next the question will be this one it says the carbon granule microphone works on the principle of change in we have voltage, resistance, capacitance, inductance. The right option is option B, which is change in resistance. Next the question will be this one. It says, which of the following statements about the electromagnet shown above is correct? Option A, when the current flows from A to B, the end A will be in North Pole. That is not correct. When the current flows from A to B, the end B will be not pole. That is not also correct. When the current flows from A to B, the end A will be south pole. That's correct. So the right option is option C. Okay. Lastly, before I end this video, it will be this question. It says, which of the following statements is not correct? Neutral points are obtained where the S magnet magnetic field is exactly equal and opposite to that due to a magnet magnetic fields are scalar quantities a line of force is a line along which a magnetic north pole would tend to move if it were free a magnetic field is a region in which a magnetic force can be detected so this question is obvious guys the right option will be option b that is not a, a correct statement magnetic fields are vector quantities and not scalar quantities notice guys both magnetic fields gravitational fields and electrical fields they are field forces basically are vector quantities they are not scalar quantities all right, so the right option this question is option B. So that's it for the video. This basically can deal with problems involving magnetic fields for your jam physics. We practice with 14 with two questions for this topic. Hope you learned something interesting from the video. Let's go the video, guys. If you are new to the channel once more, ensure that you subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. Then, how you feel from what I learned from this video. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding, what I have talked about in this video, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I'll ensure to give your response. Also, ensure that you are part of the channel membership by clicking on the jump button where you will be getting special information that will help to simplify your academic work. Alright, so having done that, click on the next screen above and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.